Hello, good afternoon, peace and blessings. This is Giovanna, the spiritual love healer. Um, today is Thursday, so you know I like to talk about gratitude on Thursdays uh, because it's really important. And so today I really want to talk about the mindset, having a thankful mindset or like an attitude of gratitude and why it's so, so, so important. Um, I saw a message this morning that really spoke to me that Chantel posted of Fantasia and her husband and they were talking about how the journey itself is a blessing. That's important because we always think like when I get then I can be happy or once I reach this goal then I'll be so grateful but we forget all along the way the little steps, the little nuggets of information, the experiences that we gain. Um, how important those things are because that is what truly shapes us and develops us. It's not getting the thing. It's the growth that takes place while we're on the way of getting it. So um, I've mentioned before, like I moved. I'm super excited um, because I needed, I needed this. I was, um, and I found it without having to relocate to another state. So I was really excited about that. But the thing is, I had to be gracious when I was where that I did not really want to be. I had to still show up and say, I'm thankful for this because until we can, if we can't appreciate and be grateful for where we are now, it's, it's a lot harder to appreciate and be grateful when we get where it is that we're trying to go. So really, seeing each moment, each step, each challenge, and being grateful or thankful for them is really important. I know for me, like one of the hardest things that I had to go through was, you know, being depressed, um, dealing with, you know, suicidal thoughts and all of that after being in an abusive relationship. So there were some times when the only thing I had to be grateful for was breathing. I might not have even wanted to be breathing at the time, but you know, I had to come up with something. Okay, well, the sun is shining today. Well, you know, just finding something little, you know, just to, to cling to something, to find something to be grateful for. Because once we start to magnify those things, then we start to see more of them. If we start to express our gratitude for the good people in our lives, then more good people will start to flow to us. And it just kind of multiplies our blessings and abundance when we can have that thankful attitude but the thing is it can be hard we are bombarded with negative stuff from news you know tv movies music social media um there's a lot of stimulation that can make us be like oh my god the world is such a horrible place like what are they doing in the government like you know all these taxes my paycheck the kids like it's it's so many reasons why people stay in a state of complaining or pessimism but we also have to look at the good and remember a lot of times we don't see we don't see the um especially within the news a lot of the good is not always ma um, magnetized and a lot of negativity is drawn out and dramatized so it's important that we find gratitude and things to be thankful to and positive positive news positive information to fill our minds like I don't really watch the news a lot um, because anything major that happens people are going to talk about it like all day long whether you know you're in the grocery store you're out at the nail salon or you're on social media you're going to see it like the um, church in Paris the cathedral that burned down I heard about that through um, yeah somebody was telling me and that's terrible it's tragic but I just, I, I don't like to have a whole lot of negativity bombarding me on a daily basis. And it's not to say that you don't have to be, you know, aware, because it's always good to be conscious of what's going on, but to continue to feed ourselves with negative stuff every day is not good. It's not good. So being mindful of the things that we're consuming um that we're allowing ourselves to absorb energetically you know our thoughts the things that we're seeing it's 
important to kind of control that narrative in a way. And I know we can't like isolate ourselves from negativity. It's always, there's always going to be that aspect of it, but it's important for us to, to still take those things and have a positive mindset around it. Don't let life's happenings start to impact you so much that it starts to take your energy away that you can no longer see you know the light of day or see that okay today's a new day we can start again we can rebuild the cathedral did i don't think anybody got hurt so that's a good thing um and just looking at things differently that's one of the things that really really saved me and supported me was having an attitude of gratitude just finding something to be thankful for and um even in times when i didn't really believe it or feel it it helps hello yes it has been a while i appreciate you hopping on to watch um just talking about the importance of like having a thankful mindset and so that's one of the reasons why i like to do like thankful thursdays just to remind people even if it's just once a week to find something to be grateful for and to magnify that because we oftentimes don't we focus on the stuff we don't like about ourselves the challenges the dramas all the negative stuff so i want us to take time out to be thankful for ourselves for the things that we are doing the things that we're working towards and as we're on this journey called life not to focus so much on the end goal like to say okay once i get this car once i get this house once i get this husband this degree this whatever the puppy whatever it is that you desire don't be so focused on getting that thing that you don't appreciate everything that's happening along the way um yeah and having a daily um gratitude journal or gratitude practice is so clutch i have I don't know where mine's is because <laughs> I'm still trying to get settled from moving but like I have these little index cards and I'll just write stuff on them and I have little sticky notes with affirmations and you know just reminders to be in a positive mindset and if you cannot think of one good thing to you know be thankful for in your life or about yourself if you are alive and well that is one thing just I'm grateful that I am here I am grateful that I am here. And that's something that I would have to say because that was it. That was all I had. Like, okay, well, I'm here. Everything else around me is like burning to the ground. I feel like I'm, you know, about to drown. Can't keep my head above water. But you know what? Hey, I'm here. It could be worse. So having those positive mindset is, is truly important. It helps you set yourself up for changes in your life and i know we all want to see positive changes positive growth so that is one thing that gratitude will help with um and gratitude and affirmations are closely linked together hi judith and a lot of people think affirmations don't work i'm just saying this stuff and i don't really believe it like why am i doing this affirmations are extremely powerful because the things that we speak and the things that we think we have the power to to create and once we start to realize that we're in control of our thoughts we're in control of the things that we are thinking that we are saying we can start to change that up and those two practices gratitude and affirmations are very helpful to start to tune in to that power and it's not um it's not anything what's the word I know I like to use the word magic a lot and um, it's not anything negative but it's it's something beautiful to know that we have the power to create change in our lives we have the power to speak changes in our lives we have the power to use our thoughts to use our words to use our bodies to um, to control our lives and that's a really beautiful thing and part of what I want to do is really empower women to to harness that potential for themselves and I meet a lot of women who are kind of down and out they don't really believe in themselves life is just happening to them and they just feel like you know well I'm just I'm just you know here along the ride there's not a lot I can do but that's not true we have so much power so much potential but we have to kind of dig it out from under under the rubbish under all of the crap 
the bags, the, you know, the things that we've experienced that have kind of robbed us of our essence, um, so to speak. And so I want to do a lot of that to just really help women reclaim that power so that then we can step out and show up in a bigger, brighter, better way. Um, especially for us as mothers, because it's really important if you are a mother or if you are a part of any child's life, whether it's through your work, whether it's through your community, through family, maybe your aunt, your cousins, whatever it is, if you have contact with children, you have a part to shape in their lives. And if we're carrying our junk, old beliefs, old habits, unhealthy ways of being and doing, then we sprinkle that into their lives. And so it's important that we start to do the work to heal, to reclaim who we are, so that as we interact with other people, we can start to plant seeds of positivity, seeds of love, seeds of growth, seeds of change, seeds of beautiful potential, so that we can start having a positive impact on the world and the people around us um, so we can create a shift in the world and that's really what like spiritual love is all about what this group is for what I'm here for is just being a positive change in the world um, so I'm gonna share what I'm thankful for and I would love for you to share in the comments what you are thankful for one of the things that I'm really, really thankful for is being in my own home. I love it. I love it. I love it. One day when it's all together, maybe I will take you all on a tour, but I still have a few boxes and things that need doing. So, and I'm still like just settling into this space. Um, but I'm grateful for it. I'm also grateful for the weight that it took for me to get here because I learned a lot about myself. Um, I was able to heal some things within my family um, and it was needed. I, I also have to speak on the fact that when we're in those, those low places, the darkness, all of that, it serves a purpose if we are able to allow it. Um, even thinking back like when I was dealing with depression, if I had not gone through that abusive relationship and into this depressive and all of this, you know, mental anguish and emotional distress, it would not have woken me up to say, you know, to start me on my journey. And um, really just being appreciative of all that I have experienced because it has all shaped me in some way and rather than it's shaping me in a way that made me, you know, bitter or negative or just, you know, screw life. I'm done with this shit. I was able to take those lemons, as they say, and I made some really great lemonade with it. Um, so that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. One of the things that I'm doing um, is definitely going deeper on my own wellness journey and just really honoring my temple. So I've got some beautiful waist beads coming, um, which I would I cannot wait to share. They're so beautiful. But I think that's really important when we are able to tune in and honor our body. Our body is a temple and it's one that we sometimes neglect, that we don't always appreciate and we overuse without necessarily like allowing ourselves to rest or get the right nutrients. So really honoring our body helps you to yeah, definitely with your self-worth, your purpose, and your intuition as well. It helps you reconnect with yourself and you show up differently when you start honoring yourself. So that is beautiful, Judith. Um, definitely share some of the things you're doing in the group. I'm pretty sure other women want to know about that. Um, and I know for me, like, I used to not beat myself up, but feel like, okay, if I don't go to the gym, then, you know, I got to lift weights. I got to do this. And I'm like, no, that's not fun for me. What's fun for me is going for walks, sometimes running. I would like to get back into it to running eventually, but I want to find ways to, to move my body. That's, um, that's sacred to me. That feels good. Like going into a gym with all this equipment. No, <laughs> Um, so I'm doing um, like some belly dancing, some pole fitness. Um, what else? 
there was some oh yoga of course I love yoga and just um, playing like just playing with savvy the backyard is big so we just run kick the ball throw the ball we blow bubbles like just really making honoring my body and taking care of my body um, in ways that feel good and right and sometimes we feel like oh I gotta go to the gym I gotta lift this I gotta you know if I don't do this I gotta eat this way no you don't have to do any of that honoring your body is about doing like what feels good for you and what feels right for you and I think that's beautiful when we can figure out what that is and not feel like okay yeah, I'm not doing it right you don't have to do it right but you do have to do it your way and so that's beautiful it's all about like what suits you and then doing that and not feeling bad about it because oh so-and-so says you got to have a gym membership or you need a that personal trainer and you got to I'm not about to do that <laughs> I'm not doing that and um even recently I um so I was going to to um, a yoga studio here, but with all the changes and childcare stuff. So now that I've got all my stuff out of storage, I've got my yoga DVDs. And so I can just pop those in whenever I feel the need. I can drag my mat out into the backyard and just get my vinyasa flow going for the day. And it feels really good and really beautiful to be able to do that because that feels feels good for me. So that is amazing. Um, I want you all to know that you are worthy that you are enough, that you are needed, that you are important, and that you are purposed here for a specific reason. I'm really grateful to all of you who are in this group, and I hope that, right, YouTube, yes, YouTube University, you can do, learn anything and everything you want, you know, through through the internet, and that's a beautiful thing that I'm also grateful for. <laughs> Because I love learning and um, being able to just find things that feel right for me in the comfort of my own home makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, and I'm grateful for the taco truck that is just down the street. Their tacos are fantastic. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch today. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just, I'm really thankful and really blessed. And it's funny because too, as we're talking about this, sometimes I wake up and it's like, we can fear this very same thing that we're grateful for sometimes. It's like, okay, like if we say like, you know, I want this really great relationship and then you meet this amazing man who is just, I mean, just does everything you want. He brings you flowers. He opens the door, holds the door. He's taking care of you however you need to be taken care of. And sometimes we'll create fear around like around that. Like, is this real? Could this be true? And so if you find yourself in that way, because I've been like that, like, okay, I moved into this house and I'm like, oh my God, like, because this is new for me. This is definitely new for me. I was like, okay, I'm going to just move into an apartment. That's not really what I wanted, but I got everything that I wanted. And so we'll start to have those fears or those doubts. So I'm having to tell myself like, this is exactly where I am supposed to be. This is my home. I am in my own home and all that I need is provided for. So if you start to have those, you know, doubts creep up about anything that you're doing in your life, shut it down immediately. Don't even allow the thought to like process, like just know, like stop it right there. If that means you got to have a conversation with yourself, do it. <laughs> That means you have to call a friend or go into a Facebook group and be like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling like this so that you can get support to cancel out that negativity and to remember who you are and you know what your blessings are and that you should be grateful, then do that. Don't, um, don't suffer in silence because there's so many ways to connect with people who support you, who believe in you, who love you, even if you don't know them on like a physical basis, like... Some of the most amazing friends I have right now, I have met through Facebook. Um, Afua, she's in this group. She has been a phenomenal, phenomenal friend. Um, Neith Sankofa, she's also in the group. She does some amazing sacred work through healing dance. Um, she's just phenomenal overall. There's so many women that I have met online who have been true friends to me that I have yet to meet in person, but that's going to change real soon. Um, that were people that I have known and grown up with my whole entire life 
have never supported me in that way. And so it's really beautiful, the, the friendships and the sisterhood that we can create when we are aligned with the right people. So I have talked about a little bit of everything. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, if there's something you want me to address or something you need, please let me know. I am here for you. Um, I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed rest of your day. And I'm thinking, um, oh, so am I. I'm so glad that some of you were able to hop on. Um, I don't know, tomorrow we're going to definitely talk about forgiveness. Um, so maybe I'll go live again tomorrow and we can dive into that for Forgiveness Friday. And thank you so much for being a part of this group. I love you all and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.